50 years of building his businesses, his leadership in the community, his leadership in the automotive industry. When you hear a story, it's a real American success story. He'll uh, buy when others say sell. He'll build, uh, in fact, in the last recession, built three dealerships. People asked, why are you doing that? And he said, uh, I want to be ready when business comes back. And you know, it worked out just fine. Dwayne, to me, is an absolute business rock star in this community. And for him to be recognized in Crown's 50th year uh, as a business is just terrific. I would tell you that of all the people I've known through my years, uh, he is the one that really stands out to be thoughtful for others, uh, always of concern for people in, in trouble uh, and helpful wherever he can be. But he is uh, very courteous and quite the gentleman. And that really stands out for me. Dwayne has a very humble approach. He uh, doesn't have to be the first one to speak. He doesn't have to be the expert, doesn't have to always be right. He likes to hear what you have to say and, and he likes to hear your ideas. Dwayne Hawkins is a leader among leaders. He has really excelled in business, but he's excelled in his philanthropy and his giving. He's been important to the community in so many different ways that he is a standout uh, in the Tampa Bay area, in the state. I don't really know if people know how much Dwayne has invested in cancer research in this community. Between his support at Moffitt and Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital, he's really made some significant contributions to cancer research and, and really wants to help our community fight cancer. It takes him quite a while to walk from the parking lot to his office every day because he stops to talk to everyone and see how they're doing, see what's happening, and, and he likes to keep his finger on the pulse. So I think Dwayne's best personal and professional qualities are how approachable he is and how much he really cares about people. Dwayne, congratulations on your election to the Tampa Bay Business Hall of Fame. There's no one more deserving that I could possibly think of, and I applaud everything you've done in your lifetime. Dwayne, congratulations on this wonderful honor of being recognized in the Tampa Bay Business Hall of Fame. So deserved, so deserved. Congratulations. Dwayne, we know you don't like being in the spotlight, but thank you for the way you've impacted our lives, the way you've impacted our community, and we're proud of you in receiving this recognition. Enjoy. Enjoy.